In this video I'm going to show you how you can import original artwork you've painted on paper into Procreate, enhance it and paint over it in Procreate. Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, an illustrator and animator and I'm currently working on a children's book and I created the art on paper and also in Procreate. And this is the original illustration that I did. This was all done in watercolor and some parcel pencils. And I imported this piece of art into Procreate and then painted the characters and uh, did some enhancements on this original piece of art. So let's get to the video. This is an illustration of uh, a children's book I'm working on and I'm going to publish soon. It's going to be uh, a picture book I'm going to publish in Dutch and maybe I'll do an English version if enough people are interested in the book. And this is the final illustration I did in Procreate, well for part in Procreate because this time I just used Procreate as a compositing tool. So everything that I drew or most of the parts were done on paper and this is the original illustration and I took a picture of this illustration with a camera because the original paper is too big and especially with scanning in watercolors they don't come out right so what I always do is take a picture of the watercolor in raw format and that file I imported into Procreate and that's on the bottom layer. I'm just going to replay the illustration I did and you can do that by pressing on the action step, go to time lapse replay and then it replays your whole illustration because Procreate records every stroke you make. And here I just painted the rock from top and then use the transform tool to have it in perspective and i also imported um, a wallpaper i could put on top of the original illustration and here i did some enhancements on the chair and i redrew the the little side table on top uh, and i did that on a separate layer there was also a mug because in the next illustration I drew it from another uh, view and then I drew the side table and I drew that illustration totally in Procreate. And here I did some sketches for um, the characters and later on I uh, painted it in Photoshop and I imported the PNGs into this Procreate file. And I also did some enhancements on top of these illustrations. Also drew in some shadows and also enhanced uh, the illustration of the man that is standing at the cupboard. The cat was also imported because I painted that in Photoshop. And I also um, added the angel and the angel is built up from clouds. Because in the beginning I wanted to do the entire uh, illustrations of the children's book on paper. But because I had to draw the angel uh, in a cloud form or a cloud shape, I decided to uh, paint the angel in Procreate. Because then you have much more control and uh, much more control uh, of the transparency. So here I'm just going to add the layers and here is the, on layer one is the original illustration and I already merged down uh, the enhancements I did on the table, on the side table and on the chair. And in a later illustration that comes after this illustration I painted in a door and so I had to uh, add that into this illustration as well. So I painted the, the ceiling and the door with the Kaczynski ink brush. 
Then I imported uh, a separate file, it's a PNG. I imported into a Procreate and I used Dropbox to uh, import the files into Procreate. And I did some enhancements, so to keep it a little bit more in style. And I also added some shades and the shades were the blend mode I used is is um, multiply because then you keep the structure of the watercolor and I really like that you know when you draw on paper with watercolor that you get that structure and here I imported the man that was also painted in Photoshop and the angel that's built up from clouds and he just flies in and on top of that I duplicated this layer and made another layer and set it to overlay and set it to 14% because then you get a little bit more luminancy and here's the cat and I also drew the cat in Photoshop and later on I did some enhancements and painted it with the Kaczynski ink brush and that's a default brush in Procreate and here you see the shades I drew in and I just painted them with very broad strokes and they were also set to multiply and that's the great thing about you know drawing digital is that you can just play around with shading because when if, if you would do this uh, on paper it's permanent and you cannot change it and the last things I painted were the highlights and they're just very minor highlights maybe show it like this and these you know, highlights are always good, you know, to let your illustrations pop up. So this is the final illustration and I'm going to use this in the children's book. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. And when you press on that bell, you get a notification each time I upload a new video. Drawing is fun. And practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!